Hey guys, welcome to Friday Night Live for November 30th, 2018, coming to you from beautiful downtown Campbellfield, Victoria. I apologize, uh, Maurizio's back. If you bear with me, we can make this episode really great. Thanks, man. I, uh, thanks for bringing me back. You begged me to come back, <laughs> didn't you? Introducing repeat special guest, long-time file inspection customer, and not one of my 99 problems, Maurizio Mion. And this is Damien Angelucci, the uh, next dental apprentice and uh, founder of Final Inspection. <laughs> now we're drinking Bergotto, Calabrian drink, Maurizio. This is uh, this one I'm uh, dedicating to uh, Sisto Malaspina. Um, and also I thought we should mention policemen and all emergency services, fire brigade, ambulance, uh, because I don't think we mentioned it enough, get a permanent 5% discount at Final Inspection. If you are emergency services, contact us. We'll set up an account for you. You get 5% off every time you buy mm. from us. That's great. They deserve it. Yeah. And the safe word for tonight is a licky boom boom down. Uh, licky boom boom down. <laughs> is that 90s? It's in a camozzi. All right. So Anthony Price. Hey, 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 hey. It's a bit rude there. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, okay. So Anthony Price is mm. asking about uh, spray on uh, coatings and fortified soaps that um, final inspection doesn't sell. Yeah. Um, but are there any plans in the future that um, yeah. the company will be selling them? First of all, uh, Anthony Price, you're a smug bastard. No, we don't plan to sell any of those products because we use them. We tried the, the uh, spray-on type coatings and things that you, uh, coatings that you apply to the car when it's wet after the wash. So you wash the car, rinse it, apply the coating, then dry it with the coating on. Yeah. And we just found that they streak, they, um, uh, it's an inefficient um, process, so you, you don't, uh, you don't save any time and you don't transfer too much of the, the protective properties over. You're better off just to dry the car like usual, apply a product like Full Metal Jacket Spray Wax properly, yep. where you transfer much more polymer down and you get more protection. Um, doesn't take that much time and you use the product more efficiently too. You don't use as much product so it's, it's cheaper. And because you're getting more and you don't have to wax as often, it's much, much cheaper in the yeah. long run. For the long term, you're, you're, pretty, you're well ahead uh, in time yeah. and in cost. Better way to go about it. Yeah. yeah. Any more cool. questions? Another question here by Anthony Price. Uh, is there any truth to the rumour that Christian is a bit of a diva behind the scenes when he appears? Yes, yep. That's the next I've question. heard the rumours, so it's not pretty. Uh, so Rick, patron or patron as you'd like to say it. Patron. Patron. Uh, can we please see more uh, of the Porsche 356 detail? Yeah, bang. <laughs> We're back. That was a good video. Mm. Great video. You oh, saw the video, didn't you? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah no, it, I saw it in person as well. So. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, mm. it's actually a really nice car. Okay, we've got another question here. Shiny Mac Shine Face. Yeah, that's definitely his real name. That's the, oh, no, 100%. Yeah. I think right. it's Irish. Oh, Mac yeah. Shine Face. Mac Shine Face. The Mac Shinies of uh, Northern Ireland. Yeah, it's um, yeah. definitely. They had a. They What's he want to know? They had a, um, a big uh, following back in <laughs> the. Um, Anyway, uh, just he, he, well, he asks. He just received his uh, second order, and uh, he's now converted to final inspection products. Mm. Uh, he's noticed that the there is a warning on the uh, waffle weave drone towel to give it a wash before use. Yeah. Um, I thank you for your second order. I really appreciate that. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, yeah, there is uh, um, what we think is an issue with the the, the cloths. Um, a few customers have said that. Um, uh, every now and then, um, a waffle weave drying towel will leach a significant amount of dye. Um, so just in case, we recommend, highly recommend that um, you rinse the cloth out as much as possible uh, in water. And if you wring it out and you notice that no dye is coming out, that's fine, good to go. Um, but if you notice some dye is coming out, keep rinsing it until all that dye is gone. And uh, hopefully that, yeah, doesn't cause any issues. Fantastic. Great. And he wants to know who makes your products and can he buy them in the US? We make the products here in Australia. The final inspection is an Australian company. And they're manufactured here and we ship to the US regularly. 
um, just send us an email and we'll um, yeah we'll get the products to wherever you're going. Is it 50 states? 50 is a good number. Are there 50 states? Yeah, let's just say 50. Well, there'll be <laughs> a... Uh, there'll be a, a correction a here. Correction need. <laughs> okay, we have another letter, uh, this time from Mark. And in the letter, it um, says uh, that he's a big fan of your company and you personally. Mm -hmm. So um, don't take this as personal criticism, but you make the claim that you are the world's best detailers. Could you back that claim with the reasons? P.S. You're the most handsome man on the planet. Obviously written by he you. He actually wrote that, wrote that at the end, yeah. Really? Yeah, I, yeah um, absolutely. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, so, so it's a claim you made. It's a bold, made, it's a bold made, claim, yeah. yeah. And yeah. To come out and say you're the best at something is, yeah. is, is, is bold. We know, we know that. We didn't, yeah. we didn't just write it because it's thought it sounded cool. But people, for someone to ask, is it's pretty normal to ask. You know, yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah. No, it sounds like he's just wondering like, if you're going to make a claim like that, uh, you know, where, do you, where does that come from? We believe that's true because we believe we have more experience. So I have 55,000 hours plus experience detailing. That's full time, almost seven days a week, about six days a week since 97. Um, detailing cars professionally, that's a lot of experience, more than what the majority of detailers in the world would have. Um, that doesn't make someone the best. If they're not good with, they can still not but be very can, good. You can be average with a lot of hours. You but can, uh, you can generally you start to master something after about 10,000 hours or 20,000 hours, right? At 55,000 hours, you've, you've well and truly you should understand your job, right? Um, we also have a couple of chemists on retainer and we make all our own products. They're made for me, they're designed for me. So I tell the chemist what to do and what to make so that I can have the very best product to suit my style for detailing here. They're the products, the final inspection products that you buy. Um, and we don't know of any other detailing company that has the experience and the support and the state-of-the-art tech, the clean room, the, the everything that we have. Um, and that's where we, that's how we arrive at that claim. We say, well, n we can't find anyone else around the world. And we have traveled around the world and spoken to detailers around the world and um, we learned how to make our products from visiting different companies around the world. And we didn't, never came across that. And every time we told people, they said, wow, really, that you've you do this, you do all this, you know, and put this into your detailing services. So there, there are yeah. product companies and there are detailers, but there are very few that do actually do both, that manufacture and manufacture for the detailer who's in-house. Um, so it's very unique and that's, um, that's what makes us so good. And that's where that claim comes from. Yeah, yeah. well, that, that explains that I think so, yeah. yeah. Well, it does for me. Yeah. Miles, Monaro. Where, where did that come from? <laughs> um, yeah, what, uh, what's the history behind this car? This one's the one we detailed about six years ago, I think, around six years ago, um, for a customer called Aaron. He's been on Friday Night Live or had something, he's been on a, on a final inspection video before. Um, uh, really, uh, he, Aaron and his family are really good customers. Oh, yeah. um, and he came to us and I think that they tested us out. I think they may have tested us out with one or two cars first. Then That's he smart. gave me his baby and he said, just go nuts on it. Yeah. Um, so we wet sanded almost everything. Okay. Um, and blended it with some OPR pads, so there's very little peel there. I didn't take all of it out, but took most of it out and um, got it really flat. And then we put full metal jacket on it. And his uh, work. When, when was this? Uh, six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah. And his factory is not far from us. And he said, now this is my baby. It's just to drive every now and then, uh, rarely. And um, I'm going to put it away. Story. Should I put a car cover on it? And I said, for God's sakes, don't put a car cover. After all that work. I thought you love car covers. No, no, no. Car covers are bad. <laughs> they they flap around on the surface and they um, they rub. And they um, I know this because my father insists on putting car covers and soft blankets and anything. He's tried everything, and every time he puts them on the cars, they're always ruined three or four months later. They've always got swell marks everywhere and I have to repair them. Um, and you're removing paint and you're spending time, money essentially, um, yeah. repairing the, the, the marks. So I said to him, don't do that, just let it get dusty and we'll see how it goes. I didn't think the full metal jacket was gonna last with all years of, of dust on it. After about the three year mark, we gave it a wash and we made a, a video called Summer Wash, which we'll link below so you can yeah. have a look at that. That was at the three year mark. It had virtually no driving and no washing and it, it came up beautifully. And then we washed this again another three years later, a um, couple of days ago, and um, took some video of us washing it. And at first, the water actually sheeted on top, if that sheeted's a word, on top of the um, dust. So as I put the water on it, I thought, oh, the, the FMJ is not working. That's fair enough, you know, I didn't expect it to last six years. Yeah. But the, it, the, kind of the water was kind of just, just um, sitting on top of all that dust. And then it kind of broke through 
because we we're only using 250 psi and by the time it hit the panel it's probably 30 or 40 psi so very very low pressure um, but it, it broke through and went under the dust and I saw it the little beads of water start rolling along and it took the dust off with it and it came alive and it looks like the first day we washed we uh, coated the car that's amazing so after six years it's still going strong no swirl marks <laughs> nothing um, it's only yeah. had two washes, so um, and the washes have both been done with our product, with our methods, so yeah. there shouldn't be any swell marks. But any car that's in storage, you can... I expected it to no, be no very problems. rough, so yeah. I expected a lot of that stuff to bake on. Had bird droppings on it. Um, the bird droppings, I expected them to have eaten through the, um, the full metal jacket layer. So I expected full metal jacket to do a good job, but maybe not completely stop the um, bird droppings from penetrating through the layer. But I think what happened was the bird dropping sat on top of the dust. And so when we removed the dust, it didn't even damage the full metal jacket layer at all. So that thing is immaculate. It had thousands of insect droppings. I mean, it's in a factory. They keep the doors open usually. Yeah. Um, they have diesel trucks coming and going. They're mechanics and they repair So it's not exactly trucks. in a store, storage facility where it has n no... Um pollution or atmosphere to it's not worry kept about. in a clean room like a humidity control clean room, no, sealed like room no yeah. no it's in a big open factory and it gets what looks like an inch thick yeah so dust. even though it hasn't been washed hasn't been driven it's still been, been driven i've been driven oh, yeah. it has been yeah, driven. had tires put on it so he went oh. to the um the tire shop and they've they've put some new shoes on it because yeah. the old ones are all hard and cracked so um, yeah, they, yeah. so he had a little bit of work done to it and i thought oh they may have touched the car and scratched it but they did a pretty good job um i was just wrapped yeah, it, it yeah. silky smooth, just like day one. I cannot believe it. That's great. Yeah, so we, um, given that that's what six years looks like, <laughs> yeah. I expect if it's maintained or you know, kept this way, because he's essentially collecting it, he's got some kind of sentimental atta attachment to this car and he's going to keep it forever. Um, so I expect that we probably won't have to, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no, you're doing yourself out of a service here. We won't have to see him again for another ten, yeah. 10 years. If he washes that a couple of times a year, which it would be better than once every three years. Um, yeah, maybe every ten years. Um, mm. Yeah, he, he might have to reapply the, the coating. Maybe. Hopefully, yeah. we can come back to it in ten years and see and see what it looks like. Hundred percent. Yeah. Great. And with that, guys, I think we say good night for Friday Night Live for Friday, November thirtieth, two thousand and eighteen, the second last Friday Night Live ever. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. See you next time. Same bad time, same bad channel. Say hi to your mum for me. <laughs> <laughs>